everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my October wrap up and my November TBR. I cannot believe it is November already. I feel like, I've said this a million times before, but this year has literally flown by and I'm almost done with my second semester of college and it's just going by so quick, I cannot believe it. So in the month of October, I ha did have a pretty unproductive reading month. I was in a little bit of a reading slip, but I did eventually get out of it, but I did read a total of three books in October, and I really liked all of them. And yes, the first, the three books I actually read are all by the same author, and I was finishing up a series I had started in September and really enjoyed and continued and finished it up in October, and that series is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. This is a five book series, and I have re now read all five books that are out right now. I need the sixth one, like, right now because Empire of Storms was so 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 good. So the first book I met I managed to read in the month of October was The Assassin's Blade. This is the novella to throw on a glass and I gave this a five out of five stars. I thought it was fantastic. All of Sarah J. Mass's books that I have read have been really really good. I've enjoyed them all. Um this is a collection of again of five novellas and I gave them if I was to give them all a separate rating I would give them Pretty much all of them, 5 out of 5 stars. I thought they were really, really good, and I highly recommend you guys check out the series if you have not already. The next book I read in the month of October was The Queen of Shadows. This is book 4 in the Throne of Glass series. I love this book. It was a I gave it another, again, a five, out of 5 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy it. I know a lot of people do have some problems with Queen of Shadows, and I can see why. I did have a couple problems, and I talked about that in my review of it on my blog, which will be linked in the description box below. And I will have a full series review of the, um, the Throne of Glass series um, up soon, probably in the next couple of weeks here on the channel. But yes, again, I did really enjoy this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, like I said, and yes. And the last book I managed to read in the month of October was the final book that is, has been released so far um, in this series, and that is Empire of Storms. Again, this is book five in the series. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy it. I did have some problems with it, but not too many. I will have a blog post up later tonight uh, or tomorrow about what I thought overall about this book because it was truly fantastic, and I really did enjoy reading it. So again, those are all the books I managed to read in the month of October. In the month of November, I am participating in NaNoWriMo. If you guys have not seen my NaNoWriMo announcement already, I will link it in the description box below. Um, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month, and I am on, this is day two now, um, and I'm pretty far into the process, but I still have a long ways to go, so I'm going to be doing that in this entire month. Also, my semester of college is wrapping up, so I'm being pretty busy with both of those. So I gave myself a pretty darn small TBR for my personal taste, but I did um, have a total of nine books for this month. So the first two I actually don't have physical copies of, but I do have the ebook versions of them. The first book is The Diabolic. Um, I cannot remember who was by, but my... Um, but this was just released, I think, today, and it's supposed to be, from what I've heard, as good as or even better than The Hunger Games, and it is a sci-fi novel, and I really enjoy that genre, so I'm really looking forward to reading that. That is the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of November, so I think I'm going to enjoy it. I hope to read it soon, and I will let you guys know what my thoughts are in my wrap-up and on my blog on my review of it. The other book I'm going to be reading this month is Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. This is a Snow Queen retelling, which is what Frozen um, by Disney is based off. And I enjoy Frozen, so I think I'm going to really enjoy this book. Um, it was a Peru's Utopia book club book the month for the month of October. Um, I've heard pretty good things about it. Um, Sasha and Reagan, who are the heads of the Peru's Utopia book club, um, said they really enjoy it, but they did have some problems with it. So I'm hoping I will have have a good um, experience reading it. I did have problems with the first ever uh, fairy tale retelling I ever read, and that was uh, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. If you guys ever seen my review of that, but I'm hoping this will be a little bit better. So the next book I I picked up for the month of November is also a fairy tale retelling. That book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first book in the uh, a Court of Thorns and Roses, I believe it's going to be a trilogy, I might be wrong on that, um, but I've, again, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I love Beauty and the Beast, it was one of my favorite Disney movies growing up, I've heard fantastic things about it, I really liked Sarah J. Mass's other books that I <laughs> explained in my, um, the books I read in the month of October, because those are all 
her books. I really did enjoy those, so I'm hoping I will enjoy this just as much. The next book you guys have seen on my TBR since I think the day I bought it, and I still have not read it, but I'm hoping to this month. I swear I will get to it by the end of this year. That book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This is a historical fiction novel that's really popular here on BookTube. I still haven't read it. It's been on my TBR for like three months now, and I really, really want to get to it. I've heard the book is fantastic. I heard the TV series is also fantastic, so I hope I will enjoy it as much as a lot of people here on booktube also enjoy it. The next two books are by the same author and I was actually fortunate enough to re um, meet the author this past October, so the very beginning of October. I have a whole video and blog post about it which I'll link in the description box below for you guys to go check out about my experience meeting this author and that author is Joey Graceppa who is also a YouTuber here on YouTube and his first book which I'll be reading this month is In Real Life. This is his memoir um, and this came out I believe May of last year and I've heard pretty good things about it and it's really, I from the description i think I'm going to enjoy. He grew up in my home state of Massachusetts, um, so we have a lot in common from just the synopsis of it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so I will be reading this, and I also will be reading his other book, which I, of course, met if you guys have seen that video I just mentioned. That book is Children at Eden. This is a young adult dystopian novel, which, of course, dystopian is my favorite genre. So I was, of course, like I said again, I was fortunate enough to meet him, and it is signed, and I'll show you what the signature looks like real quick. So there is the signature, if you guys can see it. Yeah, so I was really fortunate enough to meet him. He is a sweet, really sweet guy, um, and I, when the second book in the series comes out, I think there's going to be a second book. I'm hoping to meet him again. He is so sweet, and I highly recommend you guys go pick this book up um, just from the synopsis that I know I'm going to like it, so go pick it up. The next book I have on my TBR has another, it's another book that has been on my TBR a lot lately and I actually received this as a uh, review copy from the publisher so thank you to Griffin Publishing, Griffin Publishing who sent me this book and that is The Infinity of You and Me by J.Q. Coyle. This is, actually, book actually comes out this month and I've been meaning to read it since I got it and it really sounds interesting because I believe it is a young adult contemporary novel which I don't really read a lot of but and I love the cover. The cover is absolutely beautiful, and the synopsis makes it sound so cool. So um, I'm definitely going to be reading this hopefully in the next couple of days. The next book I have on my list is another book I've mentioned quite a bit lately, and that book is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is the first book in the Maze Runner trilogy, and um, the movies looked really good, and I've heard somewhat good things about the series, um, so I'm hoping I'm going to like it. I heard it can be kind of confusing for some people. Even my cousin told me it's kind of confusing, but it is a young adult dystopian and I'm willing to try anything that involves that genre. So I will definitely be picking this up probably after I'm done with reading the book I am right now. The next book I'm going to be reading is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is the kind of a sequel to Percy Jackson, which I read back in May and I really enjoyed. So I've been meaning to pick this up since then. I just got my hands on a copy a couple months ago. I have yet to read it, so I will be reading this this month. And the last book I'm going to be reading this month is one that is probably one of the most popular dystopians of all time, and I talked about it multiple times here on my channel. That book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Like I said many times whenever I mentioned this book, I have never finished it, um, but I am going to, hopefully this month, I swear I will finish this book and this series sometime soon. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I also have my blog linked in the description box below if you guys want to hear any thoughts on any books. I have yet to have a release, um, a release a video here up on the channel. And um, you can hear my overall thoughts before they are put up here on the channel. Uh, I also have any reviews for books mentioned in this video linked below. And I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!